Okay, so here we have a uh, tulip poplar. So as you can see, the, uh, the leaf is very distinctive looking. There's really not much else that has a leaf that looks like this. I mean, maples and things superficially kind of look like this, but it's three-lobed, so it always has three segments to it. This one can be almost flat, or it can be a little bit put out like that. Here's one that's a little flatter, so you can see. Uh, as a young tree, the bark is pretty smooth and gray. The, the leaves are a dead giveaway. I mean, that's what you're looking for. Then as the tree gets older, here's a older example here. I don't know if you can see up there, but that's one there. And as you can see, the bark gets a little more furrowed, but it's flat topped. So it's square and blocky looking. You can see how it's flatter. Um, the inside of these furrows is typically a whiter color. Uh, this isn't a great example here, but typically the insides are a little lighter than what's on the outside. Um, and another real big giveaway is I don't know how well it'll show up on a on this video, but the, the trees look like telephone poles almost. They're pretty much an even circumference like all the way up and they're perfectly round like a telephone pole it's uh not necessarily like an oak or something where you know your the trunk will be varying sizes and stuff all the way up so yeah that's a tulip poplar it's real easy to identify and the main thing you're looking for is these leaves here because that's the best identifying characteristic is these leaves because they're an obvious, obvious giveaway.